If you were to take a, a meter, which is a standard unit of length, and divide it a billion times, that's how small a nanometer is. When you start to get to the nanoscale, you're actually changing the way that uh, the atoms and the molecules are interacting. You can really see the impact of single atoms interacting with each other um, in a way that is able to perform and, and create new material capabilities for us. One thing that sets Raytheon apart with nanotechnology is our NCOC program, uh, where we're coming up with a new capability for missile domes. Nanocomposite optical ceramics is a really great innovation that we've developed, and it's actually combining the nanoscale properties of two different materials, uh, both ceramics, to actually enable us to see infrared light in exactly the same way that we can currently using very exotic and expensive materials. With the NCLC material, since we're starting with a powder and using a ceramic process, uh, we can make very large windows and complex shapes in a much more cost-effective way. Another way that we're using nanotechnology is to reduce the size, the weight, and the power requirements of our space and airborne electro-optic and infrared sensors. For our sensors to provide high-quality images, they must be periodically calibrated in flight using a reference signal generated by something called a black body source. Well, I have a copper block here. It weighs about a pound, and this is somewhat the size of a black body. Instead, what we're going to do, instead of this, we have this, which is our multi-layer advanced carbon material. The base being carbon nanotube and the top being graphene. We are gonna be able to shrink the weight, shrink the volume, and shrink the power by about 90 to 95%. Nanotechnology really is the future of material science engineering. We just continue to take it to the next level as we manipulate atoms. We think we can see what the molecules are doing and so that when we suggest the modification, we can actually see that modification take place at the molecular level.